House lawmakers removed Kevin McCarthy as speaker after just 269 days in office. Thanks for joining us. I'm Julie Cornell. I'm Rob McCartney. KETV News Watch Evans Bill Shammert is on the live desk with the vote and who's now serving as interim. Bill. Rob, Julie, history in Washington. Never before has the House ousted its own speaker. That is until today. The motion to vacate included 216 votes, 208 Democrats, and eight hard right Republicans. The office of Speaker of the House of the United States House of Representatives is hereby declared vacant. Kevin McCarthy is a feature of the swamp. He has risen to power by collecting special interest money and redistributing that money in exchange for favors. Uh, we are breaking the fever now, and we should elect a speaker who's better. The move comes just days after McCarthy compromised with Democrats on a short-term funding deal. That deal only keeps the government open another 43 days. But Democrats were unwilling to save McCarthy, saying the GOP is responsible for ending its House Republican civil war. No surprises here. The Nebraska and Iowa House delegations all voted to keep McCarthy in place. All seven are Republicans. We talked to Congressman Don Bacon just a few minutes ago. Well, I'm very angry because we had eight people, eight Republicans, so-called Republicans, voted with 100% of the Democrats to vacate the speakership chair, uh, vacating Kevin McCarthy. It's a vote for chaos. I think it weakens our country. It weakens Congress. And it hurts our own party going in November of 2024. As for what's next, there's no clear front runner, but a new speaker vote isn't expected tonight. North Carolina Republican Patrick McHenry will serve as speaker in a temporary capacity. Back to you. Okay, thanks, Bill.